there's nothing to hide, be transparent, put it out. Now at 11, Boone County versus Amazon. The county's judge executive, Gary Moore, calls on one of the largest companies in the world, Amazon, for accountability when it comes to blasting at the Amazon Air Hub construction site near CVG. Property owners have complained to WCPO's 9i team about thousands of dollars in damages to homes and businesses. Reporter Jake Ryle explains what the county is asking of Amazon, even though homeowners say the damage is already done. How do you hold one of the most powerful companies in the world accountable? I've been surprised at the level of uh, potential damage that may be caused because of the blasting. Boone County Judge Executive Gary Moore flips through the pages. Dozens of documents the WCPO 9i team obtained through an open records request with the Kentucky Energy and Environment Cabinet. This isn't something that happened and is now over. This is a continuing process. We have a whole summer and fall to get through. We, we need to step it up. They need to step it up and be more responsible. The calls and emails came in by the dozens from August through November of last year. I got a call earlier today from a gentleman down off of Limeburg Road who said that he uh, had a major blast on October, on October 4th. Moore got seismic data from two of the three blasting companies on site at the Amazon Air Hub. I want to know if I had the reading on what it was. I couldn't find it. That's likely because Amazon didn't turn over all of the blast reports, and it didn't have to. These reports are privately kept and are not part of the public record. We want the contractor and the company itself to be more transparent to the community and to the county and to CBG. Boone County stepped in after the I team got involved and asked Amazon to tell the general contractor to stop blasting on site. Amazon in this case uh, probably should have directed their subcontractors and their subcontractor uh, to be a little more proactive with the community. I do think now that they're engaged, they're, they're moving that direction, but I would like to have seen it sooner. This is the worst part. Don Jones, a nearby business owner, says three weeks ago, an Amazon representative took a look at damage to his property. They have the responsibility to, to fix it. Uh, I, I would uh, think that Amazon would want to be a good neighbor. Meantime, Moore is now asking Amazon to pull back the curtains and create a new website to show property owners all of the blast information. They could post each day's blasting data on the site within a day or two. Moore says he has concerns about the state's regulations. And most of what I've found so far, the blasting laws and regulations pertain to coal. And that's a totally different situation than what we're dealing with. So I think some of the data and the tracking of the data is a bit dated because of that. The Kentucky Energy and Environment Cabinet says all blasts were well within the state's limits, but it's left some wondering how the damage came to be. If they exceeded what they're allowed, or even if they didn't exceed what they're allowed, uh, damage is damage. The county is now getting regular reports on blasting. It's hoping Amazon will step up to the plate for property owners. There is time and an opportunity for Amazon, their contractor Kokosing and the subs to, to really right the ship and get this thing back on track. Next week, we'll revisit Walton, where homeowners have concerns about blasting at a nearby industrial park. What the state inspections found that could hold answers for those property owners. For now, reporting in Burlington, Jake Ryle, WCPO 9 I team.